Hi Cancer, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. So we're going to be doing uh, past person current issues. We'll be doing singles and new love. Then I will do whatever comes out, energies coming in, and we will end the reading with cross watchers. All of the timestamps are in the description box as well as the comment section. So if you want to skip ahead, you can do so. All right, so past person, current issues. Past person, current issues. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Uh, I'm getting an emotionally imbalanced situation. I feel like you were giving more to a connection than you were receiving. Ace of Pentacles. You were giving a lot. Six of Cups. So it's a, it's like a connection between you and another person kind of came out of nowhere. I'm, I'm getting like with this Ace of Pentacles, the universe kind of just introduced you two to each other. It was out of nowhere. I feel like the point of the connection with the Six of Cups was for both of you guys to deal with uh, past issues. Okay, emotional baggage that I feel like you two were carrying around from your childhoods or from whatever situations that may have been relevant here. Okay, so... I'm not saying it was a trauma bond, okay? I'm not saying that at all, but I am saying that, you know, the universe definitely manifested this because you two needed to take a look at some emotional hurt here that you may have been holding on. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, Restless, a lot of anxiety towards the connection. So, Cancer, I feel like you guys, in a sense, feel taken advantage of by somebody. Okay, it's definitely this energy of someone bringing out your deepest insecurities here. Nine of Swords, uh, you know, this is just restlessness, anxiety. I'm just getting, like, you wondering what you did wrong or how you could be better. But I have to tell you, Cancer, uh, this person's Seven of Swords behavior has nothing to do with you, okay? This is just something that, this is a character trait in this person. But it doesn't make you feel good, you know? This person's sneaky behavior, uh, shady behavior has definitely brought out some deep-rooted insecurity. The thing is, it was supposed to, you know? Um... You're being given the chance to heal something, right? Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups tells me that the universe is handing you an opportunity to completely heal something from your childhood. This person may have reminded you a lot of a parent or, you know, a grown-up when you were a child. I have Aquarius energy. There's also uh, Earth, water, air, okay? Interesting. This person was keeping you as a secret. Somebody kept you as a secret to someone else, okay? Whether, you know, you, you know, there was definitely, the situation definitely involved commitment somehow, okay, on someone's part. This is a general message. But I'm getting like, you were a secret. And, you know, this is, yeah, third party, guys. Three of swords. So what this is telling me, them seeing you as the moon, they're confused. And I, I feel like you have brought out their deepest fear here. Whether you realize it or not, you've definitely uprooted some fears that they have and they've had they have been carrying with them on a subconscious level all of those are coming to the surface now what's interesting is this hierophant for how they feel they feel that spiritual connection with you and what i mean by that they may not use that term but they definitely feel an unexplainable pull towards you and they're in a lot of pain because of it because there's um 
They don't understand with the moon. The moon, the three of swords, they have no idea. They don't understand the way they're feeling right now. It's unexplainable. It doesn't make sense to them. Um, and it's definitely bringing out a lot of their fears. And there's a lot of worry in their energy because there's a third party here. Can I get one more card about that, please? Yep, three of pentacles. 33, 31, 36, 38, and 39, 37. These are just numbers that may resonate with you. doesn't have to. Um, so this, they're definitely wanting to do better by you. That high priestess, three of pentacles. You have brought out something on a subconscious level to this person. Three of pentacles. I, I feel like this person is wanting to take a look at it, but the it hurts. It hurts to look at it. It hurts to look at their behavior is what it's telling me. So it's almost up to a point where, you know, some moments they try to ignore it. Other moments they can't help. It's like it gets really loud sometimes, and this person can't help but see their actions. And it's like whatever they've done to you has actually hurt them. Yeah, the chariot. Tell me more. They want to communicate with you is what it's telling me. We have this emperor that wanted to fall out. So this person has a tendency to want to uh, control their emotions. They hold back their emotions. Okay, the emperor to me in this spread is like this person. Uh, I feel like they also control other people by emotional means. And this is someone that never wanted to develop feelings for you. Okay, but they didn't have any other choice. Uh, I, the feelings just kind of manifested out of nowhere. It was the energy you were giving to this person. Wow, the lovers. And then we have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting a reconciliation in the future by this person reaching out because they can't help but do that with the lovers, the ace of wands. This person, uh, you have a stronghold on their energy, whether you realize it or not. This Ace of Wands, your energy is pulling them in your direction. And so I do see a reunion. I definitely see communication coming from this person. Yeah, because look, they want to heal the situation, Cancer. This is someone that's coming forward to work this out. This is someone that is desperate to break the silence. But you have to let this person take control. You have to let them do it. And you're going to have to find ways to go about your life right now, Cancer, and uh, allow this person to take this action. We have Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus. What, what's their hidden truth, please? You didn't see their tears. They're a lot more upset, especially with that three of swords. Uh, this person hides their emotion, guys. This is somebody that will definitely hide. And, you know, when they're upset, they hide in their car. Okay, this is someone that doesn't show much emotion to the outside world. They watch your social media. Their life is not together like you think. They miss hearing your voice, Cancer. This person is putting on a show, okay, in their actual day-to-day um, -day life. They're putting on a show for you. They're putting on a show for everyone. And they care way more than they let on. So let's take a look at you singles. So this is if you are single. We're also going to be doing new love. So the nine of pentacles, the nine of wands wanted to come out. So single cancers, you don't really trust anyone as far as you can throw them right now. 
you are definitely in this state of people needing to earn your trust, the empress, standing your ground, not settling. You know your worth, that's for dang sure. So what's coming towards Cancer? Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, something not worth your investment. There's a situation that I feel like uh, this person it could potentially be argumentative or um, neglectful. Um, I'm getting someone coming towards you that is not worth the investment, not worth your time, and you're going to quickly see that. So what about new love, please? What about new love? This person is sending you mixed signals and is not worth your time is what I'm getting, Cancer. So if someone's, this message, if you are in a happy connection, this is obviously not for you. Okay, I'm getting a cancer that is dealing with someone where you're putting in way more time and energy and work into the connection. Meanwhile, you're getting back nothing but uh, mixed signals, miscommunication, confusion. Eight of Pentacles tells me this person is not worth your time, just point blank. Yeah, look at that, Three of Swords. Queen of Cups. If somebody is not putting your emotions first, if somebody is not um, seeming like they care about how you feel, then they're not worth your time. Give me some more energy for singles and new love, please. For singles and new love. mature woman so male or female i just feel like um you could be look at this dating so there's there's a mature romance coming your way but i feel like you may have to look in different places cancer it's kind of like um some of you cancers downright even need to raise your standards okay um but I'm getting like, it, you know, you're looking for a mature person. So where would this person be located? What would they be doing with their time? Yeah, look at this. True love. There is an honest connection trying to find you. And I do see you dating. I see romance in your future with a mature individual. Someone that actually really treats you well here. But I'm getting you could be looking in the wrong places or this is like an energy of stepping outside of your usual type. Yeah, family. Those of you that are wanting family in your future, I do see that happening. Some of you guys, this could potentially... For like 5% of you cancers, I'm definitely seeing this person is it could know your family somehow. Your, or your friends, okay? Family or friends. But that's not for all of you. I'm definitely getting a family in your future. So Cancer's looking in the wrong places. What's the advice there? Can we get more specific on that? The moon. It's a matter of going out. I'm getting like going out at nighttime. Okay. Uh, you know, make sure you have your soul family with you. Uh, I'm not getting go out alone. I don't see that unless that's something you want to do. You have free will, but your advice here is to get out more. Okay. Some of you guys, there's an offer. I'm specifically getting an offer that there are close people around you that are wanting you to check out this offer and you're being advised to do so, or this is like predictive energy. I feel like there's somebody coming towards you that it's not your usual type is what it's getting me, but you should give this person a chance. Okay, let's take a look at whatever comes out, please, for cancer. There's a door opening for you. 
don't back down. Whatever you're doing, Cancer, don't give up. Don't back down. There's a door that's trying to open. The door might be, uh, like, stuck, okay? But you're needing to show fortitude and strength and open this damn door. Keep, keep trying, whatever this is. Yeah, look at this. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So there's definitely a door that's trying to open here. But I feel like you have to show strength. There's something you're doing that you have to keep trying, okay? And then we have chain of events that will affect your life. So this is about not giving up. There's something you're doing that may... You may feel like giving up on it sometimes, but I feel like as long as you keep pushing through, you're going to be very happy with the results or where you end up. Yeah, look, change. There's positive change taking place here. The door will open. And the damn door is just stubborn. It's a very stubborn door. But I feel like as long as you're going to be more stubborn with the bull. The universe loves a stubborn heart. Look at this gift. Give yourself the gift of change. We have journey. Some of you guys will be moving. Okay, I'm definitely seeing you uh, uproot your life and go somewhere else. Or that's something that you have been seriously contemplating here. chain of events that will affect your life. So I do feel like those of you um, that are resonating with this message, it's kind of like your intuition is nudging you to move in a new direction because it's like, it's like when we stay in the same place, the same things keep happening. And especially you singles, what I was getting out of that message is it's kind of like, if you're do, if you have the same routine every single day, you're going to be coming in contact with everyone else that has that same routine, but it's getting outside of your comfort zone. And what's interesting is even in this singles reading, I may have said someone that's not your usual type. I feel like what that was trying to say is someone that may not have your, your routine right now. There's somebody that has a different routine as you. And it's like, some of you cancers may be stubborn right now and not wanting to change a routine. But that door's trying to open. King of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys may be holding on to something here, okay? Page of Swords. Look at that, Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Tower, guys. So, change. There's big changes here that are trying to happen for you. But the Four of Pentacles tells me you may be holding on very tightly to your routine, to your lifestyle. Page of Swords, kind of like you're seeing the same thing every day. King of Swords, this is a logical thing to do, right? You're like, well, it's the logical thing for me to do. This is comfortable. This is where I've been. You know, look at the facts. This is what has been um, getting me through life. This is how I've been surviving. Uh, Eight of Wands, you're being asked to step outside of uh, your normal routine here. The Tower. It's going to be uncomfortable at first. Tell me more. The lovers, oh my God, y'all. Stepping outside of your routine is where you meet someone that is extremely compatible with you, is what I'm getting. I'm also getting, now for those of you that are not interested in love, if you're wanting to reignite your passion again about your work or, you know, your life, I do see stepping outside of your comfort zone and kind of like releasing a bit of this uh, hold you have on your life. Like what I mean, if 
it's almost like you guys may be overly controlling or, or you want to control every aspect of your life. And so the King of Swords is like, well, this is the logical thing to do. Do the same thing every day. That's where I have control. But Page of Swords is like, if you get curious and you go looking elsewhere, you're going to be shocked at how much uh, more passionate you are where you end up. You're going to be in alignment with something very special here. But the tower says there has to be an old routine that gets broke down before you can experience this chain of events that will affect your life. So take what resonates, okay? cross watchers give me an angel number for cancer you have angel number six it says i am nurturing i feel like this is trying to say to be kind to yourself it says your heart is your gift you are a natural born nurturer and you have a great talent for helping and healing others You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those that you love. So I do feel like, you know, you have a natural gift for healing people. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to a cancer where it's like you love to help other people. Some of you guys, it may even come uh, at the expense of sacrificing yourself. So this is telling me to um, be more nurturing to you. Make sure you're putting yourself first. Number six is that talks about centering yourself. And, and I feel like in order to give to situations, you have to give to yourself first. So you could be seeing the number six a lot or six, six, six. And this is a reminder to take a step back, reevaluate, make sure you have the energy to give before you give it. All right, we're going to do cross watchers now. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries... This Aries wants to be in a relationship with you. There's mutual feelings between you and an Aries. If you are dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is very defensive right now uh, towards you and towards everything. They have The Taurus has their guard up. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini wishes to be with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer thinks you two are meant to be. Their feelings are uh, turning in a positive direction towards you. You're dealing with a Leo. The Leo is heartbroken over the situation. Could be a third party, um, or they're just heartbroken over the separation, disconnection. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they would like to commit. They want a relationship with you. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra wants to reunite or just come together. They see a future with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, this Scorpio betrayed you, but they love you. Uh, there was a sneaky Scorpio that has feelings for you is what I'm getting. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Tower, the Magician, you're going to get unexpected communication from the Sagittarius that will shock you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn is secretive. They're manipulative. The Capricorn is secretive, manipulative. I feel like they're trying to manipulate your emotions. How they're doing that, I'm not sure. They could be trying to manipulate your emotions by going no contact. Or this is just a very manipulative Capricorn. They have hidden feelings for you, but they could potentially have some personality disorders. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius is in love with you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces wants to speak with you. Yeah, the Magician, Queen of Swords. You saw through this Pisces manipulative ways and now they want to speak with you. I feel like it's been a long time since you've spoken to that Pisces and they want to speak with you. Or there's a lot of distance between you and the Pisces. Alrighty, I hope this gave you clarity. Until next time, bye!